Welcome friends, in this one we're going to show that the equation you see on the screen represents the equation of a sphere. So what we need to do is the following. We need to try to express it in the form x minus h squared plus, for example, y minus k squared and then plus here z minus so hkl squared and then this is equal to r squared. We need to make it look like that somehow. So we do that by completing the square essentially. So I'm going to do x squared. I'm going to move anything with x adjacent. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x. Anything with y you put together. So it's going to be y squared minus 4y. Anything with z you put together. So it's going to be z squared and then plus 8z. And this is equal to 15 this way. Now from here, you complete the square. You put x. You take one half of the coefficient right there. Because it's negative 2, one half of that is negative 1. You square it. And because the expression I've just written, expanded, would give you an extra positive 1, which is not present in x squared minus 2x, you have to compensate by subtracting 1. Squared, right here. You subtract always the square of whatever this value is right here in red. Always subtract off that square. But 1 squared is just 1, though, so it doesn't change anything. For the y, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to take y, you're going to take 1 half of the 4 here, which is 2. Again, here the same thing would happen if you expanded y minus 2. By squaring it, it would give you an extra positive 4, which is not present in y squared minus 4y. So you compensate always by taking whatever this value is red again there, and you take off its square. 2 squared is 4. Lastly, with the same, same thing with the last one. z, half of 8 is 4. You square. z plus 4 squared would give you an extra positive 16, which is not present in z squared plus 8z. So you compensate by subtracting the square of 4, which is 16. You always subtract the square of this value right here, okay? And then you have this equal here to 15. So now from here, you're going to do x minus 1 squared, and then you're going to do basically plus y minus 2 squared, and you're going to do here plus z plus 4 quantity squared, and it's going to be here 15 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. The 16 negative, the negative 4, and the negative 1 have moved to the right side through addition together. Then you can just copy the left side here, like that. And then here this would be equal to the following. 15 and 16 is 31, and 4 is 35, and 1 is 36. Notice something, friends. Our formula right here, this formula. Every single thing that you see there has a minus. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus z minus l squared is equal to r squared. We need, to, we need that form. We don't have that form. We have to do one more step. x minus 1 squared. Well, that's good because of the, it's of the form x minus h where h is 1. Plus and then y minus 2. That's okay too because 2 basically plays the role of the k. You take it without the negative. The negative comes from the formula. But that last one has z plus 4 whereas the formula says it should be z minus a number of some kind. So you could say the following here instead. You could say that it's z minus a negative 4. And then you square this. So that's telling you that L has the value negative 4. On the right side, write the 36 as 6 squared. So that means that the center of the sphere is the following point. 1, comma, 2, comma, negative 4. And that the radius of the sphere is 6. We were able to take the equation as given and convert it through the sequence of steps, completing the square and all that, into the correct form. So it's the equation of a sphere. That's it. So if it's been helpful, Please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I will see you in another video.